Ancient Greece is widely known for its cultural and philosophical advancements, which continue to influence current society. However, some of its customs and traditions were strange and unusual. Want to know more? Then join us on a journey of exploration into the mysteries of the past. In ancient Greece, wealthy and powerful men used to engage in a special and intimate relationship with young boys. This relationship was seen as an opportunity to educate and guide the young ones into adulthood, as well as to transmit values and knowledge. The chosen young boy was usually selected for his beauty and potential to succeed in the future. Although the intimacy between the older man and the young boy involved carnal activities, it was considered acceptable as long as the boy was beautiful and young. This type of relationship was seen as a way to strengthen bonds between men, reinforcing the dominant position of the male figure in society. The Olympic Games represented an event of great importance, taking place every four years in the city of Olympia. Honored in Zeus' name, they were an occasion for city-states to compete against each other in a variety of activities. The athletes participated fully naked as a way to honor the physical perfection of the human body. This also allowed judges to examine more closely if competitors were using anything to gain an advantage, such as oil on their bodies. Among the sports events, long-distance races, sprints, wrestling, and discus throwing were some of the highlights. Ancient Greeks enjoyed good wine during their meals and celebrations, but unlike other cultures, they diluted the wine with water before drinking it. They believed that drinking pure wine was improper behavior and revealed a lack of self-control. In fact, this was considered a characteristic of barbarian cultures. By diluting the wine with water, Greeks could savor the taste without getting intoxicated quickly. This was a way to show their moderation and self-control, highly valued characteristics in Greek society. Public baths were popular meeting places where people from all social classes could relax and socialize. They were frequented by men and women separately, and each bathhouse consisted of several rooms with different temperatures. The baths included areas for washing with water and soap, massage rooms with oils and fragrances, exercise areas such as sports courts and gyms, and large leisure areas with game rooms and reading rooms. Public baths were funded by wealthy and influential citizens and were considered a symbol of their generosity and concern for public welfare. They were strategically built near thermal springs or natural water sources to ensure a constant water supply. Oracles were considered one of the main means of communication with the gods in ancient Greek religion. They were often visited by people seeking divine advice and predictions of the future, regardless of their social position. The Oracle of Delphi, located in a sacred area on Mount Parnassus, was one of the most famous and important oracles in ancient Greece. It was believed that the priestess who conducted the oracle, known as the Pythia, had the power to communicate with the god Apollo, who supposedly spoke through her. Before asking the Pythia a question, visitors had to go through a series of rituals and sacrifices to show respect to the gods and purify themselves for the consultation. The Pythia's answers were often enigmatic and confusing, requiring interpretation by a priest who would give the final verdict to the inquirer. The Oracle of Delphi was so influential that many political and military leaders made important decisions based on its predictions. Did you know these curiosities about ancient Greece? Share in the comments, and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us. Thank you for watching.